Everybody, it's 444RR with the next video on 365 Day Magic Challenge, standing in front of the new Street Magic backdrop, my little Price is Right model there. Uh, this is the um, uh, new backdrop I'm going to use for some of the videos in my challenge, if you missed the behind the scenes video. So this is a great trick, classic of magic I'm going to do today, but I'm not going to tell you the name until after the trick. I'm just going to go right into it. So it's a little story. I have first a deck of cards, and the deck of cards, all the cards are the, are the same on the backs and all different on the front. It's a little story about a guy who wanted to mess with me in this in this trick. So, I, I, so he said, show me a magic trick, just like that. And I was like, okay, I don't really want to because you're a jerk, but I didn't say that to his face. So as I go through the cards, I had him tell me, just touch a card. So we'll say he touched the nine of hearts. So I said, okay, watch. I'm going to take the nine of hearts and place it right inside the deck right in there. And you see, it's really going inside the deck. I push it down in there. So I said, okay, I'm going to shuffle up the cards now. And the guy said, no, I want to. So I was like, okay, fine. You shuffle up the cards. So he said, don't watch. So I, I was like, okay. So I turned my back. And as I did that, he stole all my props. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, he actually took one of the cards and turned it over. Or one side of the cards, turned it over. And he began to shuffle face up and face down cards. So now we had cards that are all face up and face down in this deck. So I didn't know until I turned back around and looked at the cards, and I was like, he's like, I want to cut them too. So I was like, okay, fine. So he cut the cards. Now at this point, we had cards that were um, face up and face down, just like this. And so all the cards were completely mixed up, and it was a just a big jumbled mess of cards. He said, now do your magic trick, Mr. Magic Man. So I said, fine, I'm going to blow your mind. So I snapped the cards, just like snapped over the cards, just like that, not snapped the cards, uh, snapped over the cards. And then as I did it, I went through all the cards, and they all were now the right way, except for one, the nine of hearts, which of course, as we know, is his card. And that really shot him up, and he was impressed, and he left me alone at that point. So that's the trick. Uh, it's Triumph, uh, classic of magic. Card magicians know this trick and they love this trick. They love the Triumph trick. And I love it too. I love Magic Geek as well. The reason why I'm doing this little segue to Magic Geek is because El Capitan Magic sells exclusively with Magic Geek. And Chris Ballinger and Magic Geek does all the DVDs for all the El Capitan Magic tricks. I have a few of them I've done for the challenge already. I've done uh, Kaleidoscope Cards Elite, Frayed Knot, and uh, the Chain of Silks have all been El Capitan products. Um, Magic Geek sells it. I love Magic Geek with all my heart. It's only really the only place I shop for Magic. Uh, I'd say 99% of the stuff I get is from Magic Geek. Um, but uh, I don't like the Triumph trick. Their version. Because you can do Triumph with a regular deck of cards. Let me show you. I'll make this quick. So the spectator chooses a card. We'll say they choose the King of Clubs. You place it in the deck like this. You cut the cards. You give it a little shuffle like that. And I'm going through this really fast just to prove a point here. Uh, you turn packets of cards over like this, like that, like this, like that, like this, and like that. And then you show that some cards are back-to-back. Uh, some cards are, are face up and, you know, they're all mixed up. So you give it just a little uh, cut. You you do that. And every card is the right way except for the King of Clubs. You can do the same version of it with a regular deck of cards. So I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here about the Triumph trick because I have a lot to say about it and how I dislike the trick so much. Uh, but I do like some key points of it too. Uh, there's like one thing I like about it versus like the five things I hate about it. The one thing I like about it is the, he gives you a lot of different displays to get the cards where you need them. And if you have the Triumph trick, you know, if you have the Triumph deck, I'm going to call it the Triumph deck, which is the one I did here. This is this one. Uh, the Triumph deck, he gives you a lot of ways to get to where all the cards are face down except for the spectator's card. He has a really cool display where it's uh, ribbon, you ribbon spread the cards, you wave your hands over them, and the cards visually change to all face down except for the spectator's card. 
That is the coolest change in the Triumph DVD. The rest of them, he gives you like a table slop shuffle kind of deal where you spread the cards out on the table and you mix them all up, you gather them all up, and then you and then boom, the cards are all face down except the spectator's card. There's one where um one where you um set set the cards down and they change. There's one where you cut the cards and they change. It's really cool. As you cut them, they all change face down. But that's the only thing I like about the trick. The Triumph deck. You can do Triumph with a regular deck of cards, so you're spending like 19 bucks to get a special deck of cards, a gimmick deck, and um, you can go out and buy a $3 deck at Walmart for cheaper and do the same routine, do, do Triumph. Uh, the only thing you can't do with a regular Triumph routine is you can't do um, a display of the cards. You can't really display the cards. I mean, I guess you could, but you could uh, you could display it easier with the Triumph deck. Do do a lot of visual display so you can show the cards are all mixed up and stuff. Instead of doing like what I did with the regular Triumph with the regular deck of cards, I just went like that. I went like that, and um, that's uh, something you can't. That's you can't really spread out the cards and show like you could with the Triumph deck. Uh, the, another bad thing I don't like about the Triumph deck is uh, the cards cannot be handed out. This is a regular deck of cards. They're not gimmicked, so you could hand them right to your spectator and say, look, until their heart's content. The only thing in the Triumph deck they can look at is their selected card. You put that on the table, put that in their hands, you ditch the rest of the deck in your pocket or in your case or in your table or whatever, in a bag or something, you ditch it. And they can't examine the deck. They can only examine that one card, which is kind of upsetting because if you do Triumph with a regular deck, you can hand the regular deck out for examination. Uh, but you could do a deck switch. So you could switch the deck out and have a duplicate red back deck or blue back deck, whatever Triumph comes in. I think Triumph comes in a red deck. Um, Triumph deck comes in a red deck. Uh, you could have a duplicate red deck in your pocket, pull it out, and you could have them look at the card. The only thing if you did a deck switch is they could go through the cards and see another, like let's say their card was a seven of diamonds, they could find another seven of diamonds in that deck. Because you can't pull every single card out of that deck. It just doesn't work. Because, you know, then they'd be a very light deck. Uh, another thing is there is a reset to the Triumph deck. You have to reset it. Now, the reset is not some long, drawn-out reset. I mean, it's like a 15-second reset. But with regular Triumph, using a regular deck of cards, and it's reset at the end. So once you've turned the cards over like this, I'm just going to get back into this position here. Turn the cards back over. You show that some cards are back to front, some are front to back, some are even um, back to back. Where's my back to back card? There it is. Some are even back to back. Look, you just reset the entire deck. So you can go right into another deck. Go right into another trick, I mean. Sorry, another deck. Go into another trick. So that's another thing about the Triumph deck. You have to do a 15 to 20 second reset. And that's the only trick you can do is with the Triumph deck is Triumph. With a regular deck of cards doing the Triumph routine, you can go right into your next card trick, which is really cool. Um, so that is really about it. Oh, and one of the things I don't like about the, the uh, deck as well is a lot of the uh, alternate handlings for the Triumph deck like to get the cards to change so they're all face down except for the one card. A lot of those changes, you need a table or something like there's a there's a slot shuffle where Chris Ballinger like does he shuffles up the cards, he gathers them all up, and they all turn face down. That one you need a table. Uh, a lot of these you need tape like the one with the ribbon spread where you ribbon spread the cards, wave your hands over them, and they change. That one you need a table as well. And a lot of people who do the triumph routine do it out on the street, do it as a street trick. And you, you some street performers don't use tables. So they couldn't do a lot of the handlings in Triumph, in the Triumph deck. Uh, I think there's only like one or two handlings. I think it might only be one that Chris Ballinger gives that would actually work well on the street. Now, there's one um, handling in here. I think there's only one good one that I like on the street. The other one he gives is kind of like, a, oh, well, that's kind of a dumb handling because People might see how it works that way. He's like, you know, do it this way. I don't want to give away the handling, but do it this way. And, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, you know, a non flashy, kind of just a general move that you're doing, but it fools people. And to me, I'm kind of like, well, that's 
wouldn't really fool anybody, but that's it. I'm going to stop ranting about this trick now because I don't really like it. Uh, go out and learn the Triumph routine, though, and do it with a regular deck of cards. You'll save a lot of money, and you'll get the same kind of, like, wow factor from your audience. So just do Triumph with a regular deck. Don't worry about the Triumph deck. Now, if you have extra cash to spend, you're looking to get a cool trick, Triumph is really cool, and you can do it, and it's kind of a neat little trick, but it's a lot of money. You can still do Triumph with a regular deck. So if you have extra money you want to spend, you can spend it on Triumph, but I wouldn't recommend it. So that's the Triumph trick and my little rant on the Triumph trick. But Chris Ballinger and Magic Geek, I still love you. I just don't like the Triumph trick. So that's it, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next 365-day Magic Challenge video.